Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Capricorn, if you don't know your Moon and Rising signs, you can check out a link in the description box to alwaysastrology.com. That way you can learn your entire birth chart and then if for any reason this doesn't resonate with you or you want even further clarification, I encourage you to see your Moon and Rising sign readings for the week. This is for Capricorn for May 30th to June 6th. The uh, description box also contains links to the cards that I'm using, to my ebook, and reasons why I do what I do. I'll be using the Wisdom of the Oracle deck for the five card central spread and then moving to each of these decks for one additional card, uh, the Medicine card Tarot and the Healing of the Angels Tarot. So Capricorn, this is a general reading, whatever is most prominent in your life for the week. I encourage you to apply these messages too. Hopefully they are helpful and influential in sorting anything out or inspirational some way for you. I wish for Capricorn all success, joy, and wellness. I invoke spirits of love, light, and beauty. I call upon Archangels Metatron, Uriel, Gabriel, and Ariel to guide this reading in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. And I ask that Mother Gaia please bless this reading for Capricorn. So Capricorn, in your central position so far, you have the Building Locks card. This is about development, getting to the next stage of something, the next phase of something. Uh, it could be that you are at the beginning stages um, down at the bottom here, or it could be that you're building on something that already exists. Either way, this is all about construction. Um, Again, <laughs> not apartment building construction necessarily, uh, but the construction of an idea, concepts, thoughts, beliefs, or the imagination process. Um, so storytelling, etc., being formed on top of itself, reaching higher levels, getting to the next stage, uh, and knowing what to do to reach that stage. So the energy that you're just coming out of and coming into the week, so um, just past energy here is the thinker and this could be part and parcel of you getting to the position now this week Capricorn for example where you're willing to put what you have put time and effort into contemplating here uh, into the material world so something has been taking up a lot of your mental and emotional energy over the past week you're coming out of that this week, but you're applying what you've been thinking about here uh, and contemplating, discovering, hopefully not worrying about, um, uh, but certainly new concepts and information you have encountered recently and it has left a mark on you. It's, it's left an impression on you where you're left thinking about it. If this is like I said at the beginning, this is a general reading, so if this is a health issue, for example, this could be something that you weren't aware of that you now have to do something about. So um, if it's business or relational or travel, for example, same thing. It's something that perhaps you were unaware of or you had to put a lot of thought into um, to do a little bit of discovery about and now you're taking action on it. So the building blocks is a material world action card and then the thinker obviously is a mental action card. So a great deal of action here, Capricorn. Not surprised, you're usually a very stay busy person. In your outside influence or conscious influence position here, we have the Imagine card. This, as long as it's not misused, can absolutely bring enormous joy to your life and to those around you. The only caution I have around the Imagine card is that the imagination isn't being used um, to make things up or to read perhaps too deeply into something that is really just on its face and there's nothing to read into. It could also on the negative scale be using your imagination to create um, concepts or to create uh, circumstances or projects that don't need to exist and they're, and they're just going to 
cause more problems in the long run. If that's not what going, what is going on this week, Capricorn, though, you may find that your imagination um, is helping you in the building blocks stage. The only reason I really cautioned around the imagination cards being on the external level is because it could be that someone else is bringing this into your life and and it is too much imagination it is it is to the point where you're just like well it, it there's no point in going there with it um, I'd rather continue on this path where I know I have some certainty because I don't see that panning out necessarily. And the reason I say that is because in your internal influence card or subconscious position here is the card not for you. You might already know right out, right out the gate that this is a misuse of imagination if that's the case and you don't have time for it, which is fantastic. Um, Capricorn is the sign of father time. It is the sign of clocks and... Um, rules, regulations, deadlines, and so forth. So you may find that you're not spending a whole lot of time there outside of what it can immediately give you anyway. Um, and if it is stealing time from you or you're not getting to the places you feel you need to get with this concept here, with the thinking and imagining, for example, uh, you may find, you know what, I don't want to go this route, I'd rather stick to something that I know has a little bit more security for me. Uh, but it is interesting here to see both the Imagine and the Thinker card. Uh, these are really strictly internally um, focused cards. The imagination is something, I mean, you might be spurred on by someone else's imagination, absolutely. Uh, and it is on the outside influence card, so this could be coming into you. You could be imagining what to do with someone else's words or concepts or fabric or property, uh, etc. Or even problem. Maybe you want to fix someone else's problem. Um, but I don't think you're going to spend a whole lot of time there. I think you're far too practical to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure it out through the imagination phase. Um, and you're going to spend... You're going to find that the security is in the thinking and the pondering and putting things in their place. In the subconscious or internal influence position, it's the not for you card. So like I said, it could just be that you're finding you have to sort through certain things here in the building blocks position. Um, perhaps there's something you thought fit there that doesn't after all, or it's going to fit in a different place. So you don't have to get rid of it necessarily, but it, you do not need to refocus it or find a new place for it. And then in your probable outcome card, you have the serendipity card. And this is just about you feeling like perfectly protected and secure no matter what. This is not an upsetting reading at all. Um, there is an emotional intelligence here, uh, which is a beautiful thing to see in anyone's reading, frankly. You could be reaching new heights of emotional intelligence here and feeling really protected and delighted about the whole process, no matter what this brings to you. I don't, I, and even though there's a not for you card at the bottom, this isn't going to equal an upset for you. So this isn't going to be upsetting in any way. It looks like you've probably thought of, maybe even imagined all the ways that this, whatever this is for you, could be going and you're, you're not going to be too upset if it doesn't go one of the ways that you plan it to. Maybe you have so many, um, you know, concession plans for it that you won't find anything surprising this week. So again, with your building blocks here, you could be at the bottom phase here, just getting started, or you could be up here where you're building upon things that you've already built. If this is a business venture, you could um, be coming uh, into more acquisition, uh, or you could be uh, making sales, of acquisitions in order to take a new path for yourself. Either way, this is about sturdiness and steadiness. You've created a great deal of stability for yourself here, Capricorn. Uh, or if that's not the case, a great deal of st stability surrounds you regardless. In the recent history card, we have the thinker. Again, you can just you can see this young fairy. She's in thinker pose. She's just contemplating everything in her world that is important to her. Um, she's not mad, she's not upset, she's merely pondering and um, 
it, it's a little bit different than the imagination process. You're looking at um, issues within the real world as opposed to drawing upon inspiration to bring into the real world what didn't exist. So even though these are technically at odds, they really do belong together. They are really both fantastic practices to partake in. Um, so let's look at the imagination card. You can see this is just like bright blue. This is all about the mind, what the mind can manifest, what the mind can bring into fruition. But like I said, with a hint of caution, the moon's attached to it. There's some mystery, maybe some unknown um, element here, um, psychic energy here. Um, use, use what is most evident to you here. Maybe don't spend a great deal of your time here because like I said, this card could um, be used against you if it's about imagining negative things into fruition or into the real world that you that you simply don't want to see. And if these are at odds for whatever reason, maybe your task for the week Capricorn is to bring these two into balance, to bring the thinking part of yourself and the imagination part of yourself into balance. Because they're both playing a part of how you forge forward with your developmental plans, with the way that you have um, things in order. In the internal position or subconscious position here, internal influence rather, um, this is something that you're bringing to the table whether you're aware of it or not. This is the game of blank. So whatever is prominent in your life this week, the game of life, game of business, game of romance, game of whatever you're experiencing, game of options, <laughs> Um, and you'll see that it's, it's a game suspended in midair. The game has yet to begin here. There's a fortune cookie in the center with the fortune reading nope. I don't feel like whatever is occurring here is going to be upsetting only because you imagined it. You already saw this occurring. You already saw this happening. Um, is it possible that you imagined your way out of it or imagined it out of your life or imagined that it would coalesce or come together a certain way and it did and you're going to be like hey I saw that coming or it wasn't the way I thought or perceived the world it was just you know it was just a chance I took or it was just um, a dream that I had or something like that. So I don't think you're going to be too wrecked by this, whatever the not for you is. Generally speaking, whatever isn't for us is always a blessing in disguise. And I think even within the week, Capricorn, you'll see this for yourself. You can see this is a little fairy literally riding on the stem of a four-leaf clover. This is pure luck. This is feeling really steady, sturdy, lucky, um, benefited as though you were benefited somehow by perhaps the whole sequence of events. Um, it's, it's just, it's a lovely card, frankly. Um, anytime we think of the word luck, um, we imagine that we, it was happenstance, right? Like you were in the right place at the right time. That could be what's going on this week. It could be that you talked to the right person um, or you were introduced to the right person or something came out of nowhere or you imagined something coming into your reality and it really gave you wings. It really made you feel like you were on top of things or it put the final pieces together to your building blocks. Um, Either way, I think you're going to feel like really benefited um, and, and well taken care of at the end of this week. So Capricorn, one of your final cards here is the ant. The ant's keyword is patience. One of the major uh, contributors to success in building anything, um, whatever that is for you in a general sense this week, Capricorn is having the patience to follow through. I have no doubt in my mind that you're about to do that for yourself. Like I said, um, your sign is the owner of the grandfather time or the clock itself. So um, patience will be to your benefit this week um, in a specific way or a special way that it isn't normally or that isn't normally uh, 
manifested in your week, or you'll be paying attention to patients um, with a different perspective this week than you normally do. Um, certainly, if you are growing impatient with something, uh, Spirit is asking that you do have patience with the matter. Things will work out for your benefit. Uh, if something does feel sticky or out of sorts or that you don't belong there or um, that it's iffy or there's too much uncertainty here, I think have some patience around it and have some patience with yourself. If you feel like you're losing something or you lost something that you did want, I would have patience with trying again, okay? So bottom line, don't beat yourself up. If that's what's going on with you this week, those were a couple of cards. I just want one jumper here. These have been taking longer. The more I do these readings for the week, these are taking longer to jump. So no overarching negative energy here, by the way, Capricorn, I don't see anything unusually difficult. Uh, like I said, you might have even seen what wasn't for you or what is escaping you this week or isn't working out as planned um, to be woo, a benefit or a blessing in the skies. You might even feel lucky, like I said, you might even feel like Things that you thought, that you imagined, that you really wanted or to happen or really wanted to um, come about isn't necessarily going to turn out the way you want it to, but you're going to feel lucky because of it. And it could be because these aren't necessarily working in tandem, for example. It's because those are clashing, the thinking and the imagined. Um, imagination parts of yourself are actually clashing and you're like well you didn't know which one to follow and then in your final card you have the support card here this is all kinds of different cultures around the entire world around your world you are not going to feel like you're alone or disposed of or incomplete or without support this week at all Capricorn in fact this may lead you to feeling um, supported because, lead you to serendipity rather because of the support that you're feeling this week. So even if you do um, encounter something that's difficult for you or something that you truly wanted or imagined would be the best for you that isn't gonna work out the way, the way you wanted it to, please have patience with yourself and trust that you'll have the support regardless and you can always try again. So that is your reading for the week, Capricorn. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below if you have a minute. Make sure you subscribe to get updates for your weekly readings that I upload here weekly for you. In the meantime, please take good care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.